I spent $1,000 on Yu-Gi-Oh cards at a convention. Let's see if it was worth it. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, I'm back from Card Party, which I know we have the new set, so it's a little bit, it's like a week after, because we had the new set, we had to do a bunch of Battles of Legends stuff, but I am officially back, this is, I'm recording it before the new stuff, so a little bit of a time crazy thing here, but I had a great time there, and I had a, kind of a lot of pickups for the amount of Yu-Gi-Oh they had, they didn't have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I ended up finding a bunch of great stuff, whether it be from just people I met, or from vendors, so I ended up getting some really cool stuff, you guys saw a lot of it in the video, so we're gonna take time to add it to the Edison box, and my Edison deck, because I got a bunch of upgrades for my Max Rarity Edison, diva hero deck so we're gonna go through check the conditions because in those rooms it's really hard to tell the condition so i'm just kind of guessing and hoping that i'm right about it but a lot of times it's worse than what you see there we're gonna go through all these cards and see if we got a thousand dollars worth of cards it's gonna be interesting to see because i may or may not have missed some conditions on some so we'll see if i actually made a thousand dollars worth of cards by spending a thousand directly on cards <laughs> it wasn't even opening it was just like did we make a terrible choice or do we make a good choice but before we do that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards graceful charity we have bls on boy the beginning and a dark magician bpt just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below favorite card that i picked up at card party i mean i feel like all the cards are pretty cool most of them are edison uh based and some of them are a little bit more nostalgic old school all right here the first thing we did was a trade that i showed in the video but i traded away an ultimate rare tour guide uh, that I actually got in a collection from somebody sent me their collection for free There was an ulti tour guide in there and I ended up trading it towards a medicine card So I felt like that was a good a good use of that card because I kept it for a long time Because it was a gift and I was like, you know what if I trade it for some some medicine cards That seems pretty cool So here's the ones that we got the guy really he was like really interested in the tour guide And I was like, ah, I don't really necessarily want to like give it away for what you have right now And I was like, you know what? Let's just grab a few cool Edison things for the Edison box because you guys know I made the Edison box If you haven't seen it go check it out basically a big box containing all the Edison cards you could ever imagine right Right now it's missing a few but eventually it's going to be like the most ridiculous edison box of all time it's going to have all the cards you could want in any deck and that way you can build multiple different decks from the box and then when you're done with it you can put them back or whatever so very excited about building that and let's see if we picked up some nice condition cards a lot of these cards looked really good when i picked them up this was from the guy we met in the lobby i didn't tell the story because it was on a vlog so it's kind of hard to tell the story without you know doing too many clips or whatever but basically uh, i was playing with chaotic meatball uh, ak sean in the lobby playing some edison format and this guy walked up and said hey you guys playing Yu-Gi-Oh! can i play and he had like goat he had edison he had tengu plant and we ended up playing for two days uh two nights so that night and then the next night and that's who we, i ended up making the trade with so that was really fun this black rose uh yeah pretty clean it does have some scuffing on the back but I, this was all for one light play tour guide which we valued at 150 something like that so he, he ended up gifting the miss warmers like a 16 dollars card so it was pretty even i think uh or it was even before that and then he he threw the miss worm in for a bonus so that was really cool this card was really nice and i was right about that it is nice so miss worm secret rare from hidden arsenal not chapter one this is the original hidden arsenal hidden arsenal one so very very cool the red dragon arch fiend this one I, I just i'm a sucker for the uh collector 10 promos i think they look really good i guess this is used in edison sometimes maybe this card wow wait a second this card looks mint okay maybe there's like a little bit of something there like a ripple or something but it's off center so otherwise i'd probably send it in but that card is mint that card looks really good the horus was another one not edison related at all obviously if you're playing horus in edison it's probably not great but the card looks good i mean it has a tiny bit of scuffing soul the duelist you know that happens this one i figured i'd try and send in it'll probably get a nine but i also was not 100 sure it was actually clean because the lighting in there was not exactly great even though we weren't in the venue the venue man it is hard to see cards in there it's like when you go to a collecticon or anything like that the lighting is not fantastic for checking out scuffs and scratch like light scratches and stuff it's really hard to see them so uh this one probably not getting a 10 or anything but it is pretty nice near mint plus i would say so i'm gonna send it in should be cool all right then we have a couple of cards that i okay our first editions uh first when you say first edition it sounds like first ed you know not first addition uh, first time we were adding to the edison deck is what we're doing here i'm gonna go ahead and get our uh our uh, thing out of the the chinese takeout deck box which is a fan favorite i know people really like that i'm gonna get all my cards out so here's our side deck i think the dust tornado they're replacing that 
That one's first dead. So yeah, we are replacing one of the dust tornadoes in the side deck to start. And at the end, we will rifle through and, and show off the deck because uh, you guys have mostly seen the Edison deck. I've showed it a couple times, but once it has the new rarities, we'll, we'll throw that in there. So dust tornado, this will now go into the Edison box just as a regular old trap card, not expensive or anything. And one of these first deads will go into the side deck. I have, I, I ended up getting two just because he gave me like, I think they're like 50 year men or something like that, which, you know, looking at this, I would have this at light play uh personally just because like the, the back scuffing but he gave me a big discount on him anyway so it worked out dust tornado i should probably put the more played one in there they're both kind of like lp so they're both fine so i'll probably just put this one in there so we'll do the uh the world championship qualifier sleeves i did put my entire deck in those i think they look good and they feel great so i decided to do that double sleeve up with i can't remember what these are called but i got some of these because I just feel it just feels wrong to use single sleeve with these kind of cards since we're trying to max rarity it. So cool addition, Dust Tornado. This will also go in the box, even though it's a first ed, so gonna go in there. This is also gonna be upgraded later, so keep an eye out for pulling the rugs, getting updated. Then we got some trags. I don't play trag in my deck, but I do need them for my uh, Edison box. I think I have zero right now, so we are now up to three. A play set, I know they're at one, so it's not like crazy or anything. You're not gonna play all three in one deck, but that's kind of good. So now we have three decks worth of Trigodias for uh, potential deck building building and stuff. Then here's some cards I picked up that are not, they're not Edison related. Okay, I, I couldn't find Yu-Gi-Oh anywhere, guys, like literally anywhere. So this one, this one place had a, they're like, oh, we have a giant binder of Yu-Gi-Oh. It was like 99% common. So wasn't exactly exciting, but I saw the Bacanio Moth, had to pick it up. Uh, and then I finally found foils. I found Fairy Meteor, Fairy Meteor, Fairy Meteor, and Fairy Meteor. All for Fairy, no, five Fairy Meteors for Pharaoh's Servant. These are all super rares. They're original prints, but they're 50 cents. So I was like, why not? And then a backup soldier. So I just picked up, here's here's the, the place, but they were mostly Pokemon. So if you care about Pokemon, maybe you guys could check it out. But six foils, $3. I figured why not? Same price as a Pecanio Moth. Pecanio Moth should be worth $50, not 50 cents, I mean, to be honest. Okay, then we have the big purchase that you guys saw where I went through Edison. So we're going to start off, we'll end with the big one, I think. They're all pretty big, to be honest, or at least for some reason. We have two Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Now, these are the ones I couldn't really tell the condition. This one was pretty bad. This one a little better. Uh, it does have some edge wear, but I need two more ultis for my deck because right now we currently have one ulti first ed, one champion pack six super, and then we have um, one secret rare from Joey's World, I think. So I'm using three different versions in the same deck. So we got to update that. That's not going to work. Uh, Deep Sea Diva, that's about to get upgraded later. I guess these are in order. I put my deck in order for a video or something. Okay. So right now, I mean, Champion Pack 6 is great and everything, but it just doesn't match. It just does not match. If I had three Champion Pack 6, maybe the... Wait, it is 6, right? Yeah. These are the ones that have the Error Ultra Rares. So uh, those are crazy expensive. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This is the worst condition one. So we negotiated a price. I ended up paying $900 for all the cards with that guy. His prices were kind of random. Like, it felt like some were high and some were low. I think it evened out to be pretty decent, like a pretty decent deal. He gave me a discount from 980 to, like, 900 100 and then he like threw in those unlimited lob card like lob uh blue eyes that was kind of beat up we'll get to him but he threw those in so i think we ended up with a pretty decent deal the back actually doesn't look as bad as i thought on this i mean that corner is bent pretty pretty bad that yeah it, it's the top corners that are really bad on these but you know we're playing it so it's not like a huge deal so we're gonna throw this in the sleeve ultimate rare phoenix wing wind blast pretty cool get some double sleevage going on there let's check out the other one and see how this one looks this one's supposed to be in better condition it's 40 more dollars but the corner there has some edge wear it's not terrible this one maybe some surface stuff right there right on that where it says card there's a little bit of a dot okay i mean this one's definitely in better shape it does have scuffing it's probably like light play at best but either way it's still not terrible okay careful don't throw it let's get the secret rare this is like the really low end one i mean this one's like three bucks but it looks good i mean i'm not gonna lie this one looks good so let's replace that in our deck you guys can see here we now have a full first edition play set of phoenix wing wind blast that's gonna be pretty sweet for our deck looking good then next here, here are the cards that were thrown in so we had uh three unlimited so these were actually priced like really high he had like I think it was like 60 on that. He said these were 250 total. And they're not. I mean, obviously. So they ended up getting thrown in for free anyway. So it did, the price didn't really matter. But this was still like, I wanted to pick them up because I figured original print, but they're not in great shape. Like they'll be cheap. They weren't, but they ended up being free. So I, or kind of, you know, because they're part of the negotiation. But uh, this card was really beat up. So I was like, this will probably be cheap. But it's an original print, Blue Eyes. That's why I wanted to pick it up. So not first ed, but. It has like the look of a first dead wavy. It's not actually a wavy. It's just kind of one that looks like a wavy. You know, it has that dark complexion to it. 
It's really pretty though. It looks good. So I'm glad I ended up getting it, even though it's in bad shape. That'll be something that'll probably be given away on whatnot or something like that, because it's a really dope card, even though it's not in great shape. So keep an eye out for the whatnot streams. Uh, they will be, I mean, we're doing some for the next three weeks, I think, after you guys see this. So there's gonna be a bunch of whatnot stuff. This has a binder ding in it. For a second when I saw this in the venue, I thought it was a gold letter. And then I had to look closely. I was like, oh, it's a secret. But now that I look, I did not notice this. This is a reverse foil, a reverse secret rare. Okay, so maybe that actually would have been 50 or 60 or whatever that he said it was. But it is not in great shape. So I'm not sure how much reverse trihorns go for, but it's definitely more than regular trihorns. Well, the guy I was dealing with is actually really cool. Like, though his, I wasn't necessarily on board with most of the pricing he had, but he was cool. He mostly Pokemon guy now. I think he shout it out or whatever uh in his uh in a little clip in the vlog but he had said he used to play Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff so that was pretty cool that's why he had so much like classic stuff so it was really cool to I mean he had a good selection like original summon skull I mean all this stuff is really great not necessarily Edison stuff just stuff I wanted to pick up to be honest then we have a no blood another one that's it doesn't have anything to do with Edison or anything it's just like I have never had this card before I think it's the first time I've ever owned it and I know it's expensive or at least it used to be or really hard to pull it's in terrible shape it was like 50 bucks, but it's a, it's like heavy play if you look at it. It's not in good shape. I mean, it's really just the back, though. Like, the front looks pretty nice. Secret Rare Ill Blood, first ad from Tactical Evolution. First time I've ever had it. It's a really, really weird card. I mean, look at it. Very creepy, nightmare-inducing, pretty awesome. All right, uh, okay, so we have a few things left that we picked up. We have Necro Gardener. So Necro Gardener, I figured Edison, this would be good. I don't even know necessarily which deck is using Necro Gardener, but I know it is usable in Edison, so we're going to put it in the box. 32 bucks for an ulti, I figured was not crazy. Um, from Tactical Evolution First End. Front looks pretty good. Back, definitely scratched up. These are definitely good for playability. Mod play, in my opinion. Still really good for playing and throwing in decks. This one was also thrown in, I'm pretty sure. The trap hole, he was like, just go ahead and take this. Because originally I couldn't tell that it was the uh, Asian English just right off the bat. A lot of them I could tell right off the bat, but for some reason this one in the lighting and everything looks like a normal one. But just an Asian English, pretty beat up, so not crazy value there or anything. Then we had a card trooper. This was actually a pretty cool pickup because it's the original one from the Duelist pack. Oh, there's the other Necro Gardener. It was nine bucks. I was like, you know what? This is Edison through and through it's nine dollars it's in okay shape you know it's got a couple scuffs on the back but it's going to be perfect to be played thrown in the edison box i figured we'd grab that and then we have the necro garden at number two this one let's see necro garden number two is actually cleaner than the first one that's probably lp at at worst so that's a really nice one that's not being added to my deck but it will be added to the box a couple of ulti necro gardeners is really cool then one of the ones i was most excited about in the venue this looked really clean but i wasn't 100 percent sure i don't even know if divas are worth 100 i don't even know what i paid for it because we changed all the the prices are like added up and discounted and all this different stuff so i don't even know what i paid for this and the, the thing about this is we spent like a thousand dollars a card party and i sold 985 dollars so we really spent 15 so even if i overpaid you know, i sold some cards that i it was pokemon cards you know whatever i wasn't super attached to him or anything to get some cool edison stuff so either way if we overpaid a little bit it's fine this diva okay front is not as great as i was hoping it has a, you guys can't really see it yeah you guys see that just a little bit of stuff on it it's seen some play the back is, is about as clean as i thought so honestly pretty nice oh wait i'm not putting this in a penny sleeve because this is going into the deck this is going to be perfectly fine for the deck it's going to be perfectly fine it's going to look good we're replacing this uh gold letter one right here i hate this gold letter one because it's so it's maximum gold gold letter and I, it's like my least favorite rarity ever so it's really nice to <laughs> switch this out with a very professional turbo pack four super rare you know uh just high end top notch finish out the play set of turbo pack four i opened up the other two out of a turbo pack box so wait where, the, where was i yeah these other two were pulled by me so now we have a full play set of deep sea diva which is really exciting and we are not done yet i also got a secret rare thunder king raya which my side deck what i think i have an ulti maybe and a gold so this this will take over the pricing if you're going with high rarity pricing is ulti raya I hate ulti Ryo. I hate all turbo pack ultis. Like they're so flimsy. And if there's a better option, I will I will try to choose it. And honestly, this secret rare from the like magazine or whatever it is is a better option if you're gonna play it because oh man, that that is woof. That thing is not as not as clean as I thought it was. Uh I don't even remember who I got that one from, but I think it was from that guy. So yeah, he, he had it valued at near mint, uh, and very high it is not clearly but it's going in the deck so who cares it's got some it's got some stuff on the back i might consider doing two of these secrets because honestly okay where is it where's the other one let's compare the two secret versus ulti which do you prefer i mean come on 
camera can sometimes do it not do it justice so the ulti does look a little better in person but this pops better this is more like not flimsy like literally i have had times where i take this out of the sleeve and i try to put it in a sleeve and it almost strike bends in half it is not a sturdy card which i don't like so i'm considering just doing double of these even though they're way way cheaper so the value of the deck is not as much which it's cool to have a high value deck but it's also nice to have cards that look good and uh, aren't going to bend in half when you play with them all right we have a few more cards this one i can't remember what my miracle fusion situation is i have one two i okay I guess I can replace this raw yellow mega pack for now because that's a, you know, the $1 version, even though I'm not going to lie. This looks pretty good for a cheap ultra. This is the DR04 version, which if you don't know, DR04 is a very rare set. It is a very rare set because it has really nice secret rares. It was very uh, short printed. So the cards inside are very expensive. Oh my goodness. I should have taken a look at this. <laughs> Yeah, this was this was a mistake. This card is definitely not worth whatever I paid. I didn't pay 160, but I did pay way too much. That's for sure. This card is damaged. Ouch. So yeah, I I didn't take a look at that card. I kind of forgot to. I got a little distracted. Sleeves can be deceiving, guys. Sleeves can be really deceiving. And obviously, the sleeve was deceiving there. It was not in great shape. So that's okay. It will still go in the deck for now. It's gonna be a placeholder. Uh, that's, that's, that's a bad one. That was not good. Yeah, cool card, really rare card, but in, you know, that condition, not fantastic. Let's hope that some of the other cards are in better shape. I, I'm pretty sure I looked at every other card. I guess I just forgot to look at the Miracle Fusion for some reason, because obviously that thing was not in, like, near mint, because I think that was priced around near mint. Pulling the rug. So, yeah, back to the side deck. We have two pulling the rug super rares this is an ulti i also have another ulti that's a psa 6 that i'm going to crack out at some point and put into the either the box probably the box now because i have no i might have only gotten one pulling the rug so i might have to crack that other one for the other spot at some point okay if i can pick this thing up it this is this was not perfect condition it's definitely not worth 50 i didn't pay 50 i paid a little bit less than that but still a really nice side deck card definitely playable it looks fine in a sleeve which is all you need when you're playing uh playing in a deck right it's got to be not flimsy and it's got to look fine in a sleeve and you're good to go then we have a wing karibo ulti i picked up just because wing karibo is crazy and awesome and from what i could tell okay there's a bend right there so like, if you go from the studio to at the venue it's it's completely different i mean i mean i didn't i think i saw that it was mod play when i picked it up and maybe I did see that bend then. I can't remember what I saw live, but yeah, it might have a little ding right there. But honestly, it's an okay shape compared to some others. Not as bad as the Miracle Fusion, that's for sure. Then, okay, this was a different guy. He had two cards. He had a Reinstruction and a Torrential Tribute. I might need the Torrential. I don't remember. Okay, I have a First Ed Torrential. Let's, we'll check the condition, see which one's better. This one, from what I could tell, was decent. It was, it was a decent card. So here we go. We have Torrential. Yeah, this one is actually... LP, VLP, something like that. So good condition. If it's better than this one, I will swap them out. They're about the same. So I think we're just going to stick with where they are at the moment. I mean, we didn't upgrade, but we now have another first ed nice condition torrential. That's fine. Very exciting. Very cool. Then we have a ring of destruction. I just think this is a cool card. Maybe throw in a go deck or something. It was pretty clean from what I remember. Clean as, yeah, as I can tell. You know, I actually looked at this one. Ring of Destruction, back, you know, a little bit of scuffing on it. So VLP, LP, something like that. And then the final card, the real reason I picked up all these cards, besides adding to the deck, was Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. You guys saw this. This card, I'm expecting to be in horrible condition. I thought it was mod play when I looked at it live. Okay, yeah, there's something going on. Yeah, they got some, some indents right there. Edging is, uh, which is apparently a thing you don't say anymore, but the edge wear is not great on it the scratch a little bit of scratching on the ulti surface a little bit of stuff there back looks pretty mod play i mean if it's a solid mod play it's got a chip out of the top but honestly it looks pretty good overall i mean it's still you could still get it in the right spot where it looks incredible this one was actually at a very reasonable price like low price i, I would have thought like yeah he valued this one low almost everything else valued too high but i bought them all just so we could get the raviel which was valued lower i think so it might have balanced out that miracle fusion is probably only worth like 40 bucks so i probably paid like three times as much <laughs> as this is worth so the question is did this purchase make us a thousand dollars it may or may not have you'll have the total on the screen to see if we did but either way we did get a lot of great cards for the edison deck we've upgraded we're gonna rifle through that really quickly just so you guys could see what the edison deck is looking like right now I, the Caius upgrade is gonna be a brutal whenever that happens dark arm dragon really needs an upgrade 
I mean, a few of these, as you guys can see. I mean, Spine Gilman technically has an upgrade that I need to get. Got to get that other Miracle Fusion. I might go Ulti MST. I think it looks a little better at some point. Uh, upstarts need an upgrade. Solemn... How do I still have this Solemn Judgment? There's no way I don't have a first dead Solemn Judgment somewhere. Uh, bottomless is that's going to be expensive as well. So there is a lot to go. The uh, Faded Gores is pretty awesome. Uh, Doom Cal technically has a big upgrade. Cyber Dragon definitely has a big upgrade. But the side deck is actually getting there. It, had, it needed a lot of upgrades before, but we added a few in. And then, of course, the extra deck is always really pretty. And there's a few cards we still need to upgrade as well. So very fun video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos coming up in the future. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.